Welcome to episode 16. I'm out on a trail run today. It is beautiful outside. The trails are back open. And I'm off to the UK tomorrow, but let's check out what happened this week. It is Monday and I am headed out for a nice leisurely three mile walk to loosen up the legs. I like to do that on Mondays after running long on the weekends. It was uh, 12 on Saturday, 12 on Sunday. Then I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna do a little push up and sit up workout, probably a Tabata, get the muscles warmed up and then some maintenance on the legs. I'm back from the walk, I did three miles, Took about 45 minutes. I love those walks. It allows me to really just think about everything I need to accomplish this week. It's nice. All right, now we're gonna do a little Tabata of push-ups and sit-ups, meaning I'm gonna do 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest, and I'm gonna alternate between push-ups for 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, then sit-ups for 10 seconds, or 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds. Let's get to work. Starting your Tabata workout. Get ready. Top it up. <clears throat> Exercise. It's a little tiring. All right, now I need to do a little maintenance. Gotta get in there. I'm going to foam roll and get the lacrosse ball. I've had a little tenderness right here in my arse, so I'm gonna sit on a chair, get the ball in there really well, and get the uh, ball kind of on the side of my shins and on my calf today. Well, I have three updates for you. Number one is on my weight, down to 199, so down a little bit, but still down, so 199 pounds was a success. Anything down is a success in my book. Number two, my training. I alluded to a, week, a video last week about Carl Meltzer, basically the greatest ultra run of all time, most 100 mile wins, set the Appalachian Trail record. Well, we've been chatting. He's he believes that you shouldn't be running more than 20 miles in your longest run training up for a 100 miler. He just feels that you cannot recover. Most people, 99% of people, will not fully recover beyond 20 miles. So all you're doing is hindering the rest of your training. So he's sending me a couple weeks to start out to uh, change up the training. What I believe is gonna happen, the runs are gonna be less on the weekends, less distance but I'm gonna have longer runs during the week. So instead of running threes and fours, it's basically gonna be sixes and sevens Monday through Thursday, and then the weekend mileage will be shorter. Update number three, I hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you are, I wanna do more videos, I wanna do better quality videos, get better equipment, and just continue to grow this. So with that, if you'd like to support what I'm doing, I've set up a Patreon page, if you haven't heard of Patreon, that allows people to support creators of content. Patreon.com slash CJ Media, I'll link it below, but there you'll be able to support what I'm doing and with that support, I'm gonna give early access to videos, more videos, behind the scenes, things that I'm not putting in these videos because they're, the videos get too long, so there's lots of footage and things that are happening in life that I'm not putting in here. Uh, additional photos, I'm also going to be releasing a bi-monthly digital magazine. That's my history. I'm gonna brand it under Rocks, Roots, and Ruts, 
And what that'll be is a digital magazine with articles on running and fitness and trails. So that will be available through Patreon as well. There's different levels. Anything you wanna do is great. The other thing you'll get if you're a Patreon supporter is $5 off the shirts when they come out. So the shirts are gonna be here shortly. I'm headed to the UK and Netherlands the next two weeks, but I'm working on the designs. I'm already getting ready to get them printed. All of that's ready. I'll get the pre-order form up. The website is almost up, rocksrootsandruts.com. I'll announce the pre-launch of the shirts. You'll be able to buy those, but if you're on Patreon, you're gonna get $5 off the shirt. So if you'd like to support me, I would appreciate it. And thank you to those who already have jumped on there. There's a handful of people. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to sharing all kinds of behind the scenes stuff from my travel over the next two weeks. It's Tuesday morning. Today is a short run to start the week out. Then the mileage builds the rest of the week. It's just gonna be a three mile. I'm gonna go hard, get a little bit of speed and see how the legs feel. All right, well, I didn't record that run because I wanted to run hard. See if there's any speed left in these old legs. And there's a little, I ran three miles, 7.33 pace, 22.45 total. That was hard, I'm spent. Putting our life in boxes, erasing the memory so you won't know the sound. It's Wednesday morning. I am headed out for a eight miler, nine miler. We'll see how I feel. I'm just gonna uh, get out on the roads. Don't really have a path mapped. Just going to really run until I wanna come back. And I'm so tired of being honest to everyone by myself. I do it so well. You were so good at flying, but we can't keep flying. That was almost eight miles. Felt good. Took an easy pace yesterday. I ran 7.33s. Today was just 9.45s. Nice and easy. Just getting home. I actually just went and had a massage, had him work on my legs a little bit, but uh, I had no training today. I didn't sleep very well last night. I had a really hard time. I could not fall asleep. This is the second time in a two week period that I've really just fought to get myself to go to sleep. It wasn't till close to one o'clock when I finally went to sleep, but I was set to get up at 4 a.m. Alarm went up, off. Got up, got dressed, but he wasn't gonna be able to make it to train, so I sat back down on the couch. I just did not feel good. I ended up going back to sleep for a couple more hours. Getting up around 6.30, just, I felt way better. Um, I think I just did not feel good today. I decided, you know what, today's a good day to take a full day off. It's Friday morning. I am headed out for a run since I skipped my run yesterday. I wasn't feeling well, but Today, I am way more rested, so let's go get it done. When everything feels cold, everyone is on their way back home. I started humming a song. It's Saturday morning. I'm headed out on a 15 miler, nice and easy. The weather is actually says it's like 61 degrees, but I think it's windy out there. I can hear, hear the wind, but that means I'll probably be losing this layer really fast, but I'm out of here. All I see is smoke and it was And the reflection 
It is Sunday. I am out in Chino Hills State Park. The trails are finally open. The rain is gone for now. I'm getting 10 miles in today. Last night I got my training plan from Carl Meltzer and he's rearranging my running. I'm going to be running six days a week during the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Six, seven miles right now every single day. Friday's off. Saturday and Sunday are shorter runs. 14, 15 miles on Saturday and then 10 on Sundays. I had been talking to him about not feeling like I could recover after these big long runs. So we're working on increasing my during the week mileage, decreasing the weekends, and we're gonna see how this goes. You've always felt like a part of you has gone missing. I know it's real, but I'm telling you, it's closer than you know. I'm really trying to keep it cool now. Don't you see that you're a fool? Time to open your eyes and let go. Oh, oh. You got a lot of exes, but none of them know you better. The stories you've heard could be you and I. Well, that is it. Ten miles done. Now. I've got some packing to do. I've got some Girl Scout cookies to sell. My daughter and I are setting up a little booth in the neighborhood. Then we're doing some door to door before I get on the plane tomorrow. As usual, the run is just the tip of the iceberg for the day. We are selling Girl Scout cookies. Hi, I'm Emmeline. I'm in the Girl Scout troop 6002. I'm sick and tired of seeing you in pain. Your head's in a haze. Won't you lean on me? I'll catch you if you fall. So take a leap of faith. Well, week 16 is over. I hope you had a good week. I had a great week. I'm looking forward to traveling to the UK and to the Netherlands next week, getting some cool runs in, some great video for you guys. So, again, thank you so much for all of the support, all of the comments. If you're not a subscriber, we're getting so close to 5,000. I'd really appreciate if you subscribe. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And finally, if you'd like to support what I'm doing, check out patreon.com slash cjmedia. I really appreciate any support. Early access to videos, more videos behind the scenes, discounts on the shirts that are about to come out, as well as access to Rocks, Roots, and Ruts magazine, digital magazine. I'm gonna be pushing that out here in the next week or so, the first issue. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week.